Maddie Graham is suing her former lover, Chester Butler, for $2,500. This gentleman owes me $2,500 for a trip that we both agreed to take together. That's a lie, okay? Your Honor. That's and a lie. Because we were I, paid, dating... I, I gave her some money towards the trip in the beginning. But and excuse me, I'm not even that, finished. After that, I, I kind of like lost my job. So yeah. somewhere in this process, though, you did Honor, go on the trip. Did the two of you go on the trip? that we continue to go on the trip. Yes, so the we did. So the two of you went on she the trip. She understood that my finances were bad and that I couldn't continue to take out and give out payments towards the trip. He was a maintenance man at the place that we were employed at. We chose to go Dutch on the trip in the beginning. After I lost my job, she insisted that she would pay and, and, and we would have no problem. Mr. Yeah, Bo, you said there were a lot of problems even before this trip. Yeah, What's there was happening? a lot of problems before the trip because she was just too possessive towards me. What about the items that she bought on the trip? Those are not the items. The items she bought on the trip were small things. She bought something for my mother, something for my son. But what about the clothes she said she bought for you for the trip? Did you buy wardrobe Yes, I items? did. Yeah, I have receipts and everything. All right, Your let Honor. me see these receipts. $24. Hundred dollars was the entire trip for so both of us. So twenty-four hundred dollars. Now you also acknowledged that Mr. Butler had given you some money prior to the time that you left. Less than three hundred dollars. He didn't have the money for the trip. You should have left his behind at home. So you're saying out of the twelve hundred dollars that you paid six hundred dollars. At least a thousand. At least a thousand. At least a thousand. So there was only two hundred dollars left. First of all, I'm going to deny the claim for any gifts of clothes or items that you bought for the trip. I consider those to be gifts. I am giving you a credit, Mr. Butler, of the $500 that I can see that you paid toward the trip against the $1,200. I am gonna split the difference of the seven remaining $700. I'm gonna award you $350 out of the $700 balance because I think that you didn't make a wise choice in paying for this trip when you knew he couldn't afford it. Nothing further judgment in favor of the plaintiff only for $350. Court adjourned. Antonio Simons is suing his ex-friend and roommate, Roger Williams, for $3,000. He claims that Roger broke into the apartment they shared and stole his personal belongings. How long had he lived in the apartment before you suspected him of taking things from the apartment? Two to three weeks. Two or three weeks yeah. before you started missing right. things. Mr. Williams, can you tell me your side of the story? For one thing, he came home with he was drunk. He's out of his mind. He don't, I mean, this is the first time I've seen something like That's this happen lie, to Honor. him. He, he That's was a drunk. Lie. When he came home drunk, he realized he started talking junk, you know, talking about my mother that and stuff. Lie. So I walked out the house. Somebody Object talk about Honor. my mother, you know, I'm going to be ready to fight. In order for me not to fight, I had to walk out that house. Let when I left out the house, yep. and then I came back, Nobody was there. Antonio Simon says his ex-roommate broke into their apartment and stole his personal belongings. Roger Williams says he was never charged by the police for such a crime and refuses to pay. So, Mr. Williams, he says that you're no longer there because of the problems you had with the property. What's your version of why you're no longer in the apartment? Why, why did I you leave? Because I can't deal with a person like that drinking and stuff like that. So you, you made know, a decision on I your own? I had to make a decision, yeah. Someone had broken into the house, broken yeah, windows? Yeah, the window was broken. The window was broken? Mm -hmm. So when I got in the house, I noticed one lock was on my door. Then I felt a breeze coming in from my living room window. And I noticed it was glass over the floor. My, some other things were missing, five CD player, my VCR. Then I called the police that day, which I have a police report for. It. What happened with the situation where he says that someone broke into the apartment I in February? I couldn't get into the house, so I had to get in through the window. So you did, in fact, come in through the window? Yeah, I had to. And so I you had came to go into I had no way to get in. the window. Mm -hmm. And did you take anything no, from I the didn't apartment? Take no, I just went to work, changed my clothes, and I had to go to work. And then what happened? When did you next see your roommate, Mr. Simmons? I seen him the day after. This is really, really a strange relationship. <laughs> this is my verdict. By your own admission, Mr. Williams, you came through a window for the life of me. I don't understand why you didn't have a key to your own place. He takes the key back, so now it's necessary for you to break into the apartment. But by doing that, you left the apartment wide open for anybody to come in and take whatever they want to. So you have to assume some of this responsibility. I'm not going to award the full $3,000. I am going to award the plaintiff $2,000 because whether you took the things or not, you left the apartment vulnerable for other people to come oh, in and in. steal things. $2,000 ju judgment in favor of the plaintiff under these circumstances. Nothing further. We will stand adjourned.